Well, we welcome you back as uh, Media Day starts to uh, head toward the sunset, but not before we get to uh, a coach we always enjoy being with and a player we've talked to a couple of times this year, and he's always pretty entertaining, uh, Jake Bentley and Will Muschamp from South Carolina. The Gamecocks expected to have a really nice year. Guys, thanks for being here. Uh, Jake, we'll start with you because uh, everywhere I go, I see the, the entourage following you. I, I, I know you've got a little bit of experience, at not well, not that this but but have people follow you but what's it like to uh, come to media days yeah it's an awesome experience you know and just to see the excitement that um, is building around the football season um, it kind of kind of makes me want to go play right now you know uh, but it's uh, it's a long day it's a long day full of a lot of the, the same questions but it's a, it's a great experience well having interviewed you a couple of times I, I don't think coaches in any has any concern that you're going to come out here and pop off or, or say anything <laughs> no. like he probably would have said when he was a player yeah. <laughs> They didn't want to interview me when I was a player. <laughs> Can you imagine uh, back in the day you going to media days? No. <laughs> I would have liked to have gotten a hold of you. <laughs> you. You have heard about his career, haven't you, Jake? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little, a little bit off the edge. Uh, yeah. But, uh, Coach, thanks for, for being here, of course. And let me ask you, um, expectations are, are starting to ratchet up. You beat Jim Harbaugh. You, uh, you finished the season uh, on a big note, and people are – pontificating. I use that word, not because nobody well, knows. Uh, that's a big word. Yeah. yeah. SAT uh, word right uh, there. Big yeah. for you there. But I try to be nice <laughs> to these Georgia grads. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Um, we're excited. We've made some progress. we got to continue to make progress. We've got to continue to build depth on both lines of scrimmage. We have improved the overall quality depth on our football team. We'll have a lot of competition in fall camp, and, and I like where we are. I uh, certainly like where we're headed even more so, talking in terms of the football operations facility and some of the things we're doing off the field. But I'm excited about this team. I like our work ethic. I like our resolve. I like what I'm hearing through the summer and looking forward to our training camp. I just I just ran into the best dressed man in America, Debo Samuels. Man, uh, <laughs> did you, uh, what, what'd you, what'd you, when you saw him today, what did you, you make out of his outfit? Well, he told me earlier, earlier this week he was going to wear, like, the, the suit shorts. And I, I, I told him not to. I don't know if that would be a good look. So he brought out the, the white shoes and the white jacket. I was you know, looks good. He Billy looks White nice. Shoes Johnson yeah, right here in Atlanta. I asked him, and he didn't know who he was. No, of course. Nah. I mean, but we're going to get on the Internet on the way back and figure out who Billy White Shoes Johnson is. No celebration dances, though. We, we no. can't do that. Well, I know uh, you got to be pretty fired up to have him uh, back and healthy. For sure. I mean, it's a guy that, you know, not only does he give our offense confidence to our whole team, you know, he, he's a guy that can, that can catch a five-yard screen pass and take it 90 yards for a touchdown. And, um, and then the one thing I love about Debo, he's just a selfless guy. Um, you know, he's not worried about, you know, the accolades or all that. He just really wants to be out there with us. I think that's what, that's what tore him up the most is not being out there with us and being, being able to win games for us. Coach, I, I mean, listen, I know you've known you a long time, and I know you'll probably cringe when I, when I, do, when I talk about anything other than the first game. But uh, we get calls on the show. You, I know you've probably never heard it, but uh, South Carolina fans really are looking to that second week of the season as you make the rounds and, uh, and, and talk to fans and through the media or, or elsewhere. How do you calm everyone down because the season doesn't begin on the second week? Well, I th I'm not worried about our fan base. I'm glad they're excited. I want them to be excited. I want them to have high expectations for our football team. That, that's exciting to me. Uh, but, but our players understand we've got to have a great training camp. I go back to the 2004 LSU National Championship team and the numerous conference championships that I've been a part of. They all had great training camps because having goals and expectations and all those things are great. But if you don't understand what it takes to attain those goals, none of those goals even matter anymore. And regardless of what happens on that Saturday, there's a lot of football to play. And, and, and the East is not going to be determined on that Saturday. I can assure you of that. Jake, spoken like a true coach, huh? <laughs> for sure. For sure. His dad's a coach. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember. Uh, when, when you uh, – uh, when you hear stuff like that, I mean, you're, you're a team leader, so you, 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 if you don't buy in, nobody's buying in. Yeah. But, but how do you uh, pass that down? Because, f yeah, f forget fans. I mean, you, you guys are normal. You, you, yeah. you watch this stuff. You, you, you know what everybody's saying. Well, I think our leadership just has to take over. And, and, and you know, one thing that Coach always preaches to us is treat every game like a one-game season. You know, if you, and I think if you do that, you can't focus on Georgia. You got to focus on Coastal Carolina I first. Say it. And um, 
And uh, I really think it just the leadership has to take over and keep the guys um, grounded as much as they can and uh, locked into what we have to do the first week. Do you uh, pay much attention, though, to all of this? I mean, this is a, we, we've been here for it seems like a year. We started <laughs> Sunday night. I mean, this is an, this, this league has an endless uh, there's an endless appetite for information. And, and South Carolina fans are, are loud and large right now in terms of what they expect. Uh, I can't assume that you and your, your teammates aren't paying some attention to all this. Yeah, I mean, it's hard not to see it. It's hard not to, uh, you know, see the expectations like Coach said. Um, but we have expectations for ourselves. I mean, as our team, we want to be successful as well. Um, and I think the guys have the right mindset. You know, more, th more than any other year, I think our team now really has the right mindset um, of what it takes to be successful. They know what it takes to win. Um, just going through last year, you know, look at the last game, um, you know, being down 19 to three. You know, no one, no one panicked and no one, no one got rattled. You know, and then coming back to win, I think that momentum and that um, just that victory over Michigan is going to go a long way for us. Coach, when you when you have a really good season and somehow the the bowl game goes the wrong way, you you, you say you don't want to let one game uh, change the direction. But when you have such an amazing comeback like that, it, it's almost like the game before. I know it matters, but it, sure. ha, how does that help you go from that 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 morning? On, on New Year's Day to where we are right now? Well, it creates a lot of momentum for you on a lot of different fronts. Number one, confidence of your team. You come back from 19 to three. Uh, you play as well as we played offensively in the second half, which we needed to. Uh, you go into the recruiting aspect of it from a standpoint of recruits see you beat a program like Michigan on January 1st in the Outback Bowl. Uh, that, that recognizes a lot of things, and it gives you confidence as a staff in your program and where it's headed. You've got to see progress. Your players need to see progress. Your fan base needs to see progress. Your, your administrators need to see sure. progress in your program, and we've done that so far. And, and Jake, I was sitting here yesterday with one of these talking heads. Maybe, you, hopefully, you weren't listening. And we were talking about you. And and uh, it, it, it was a former quarterback. He was being analytical, and he he was talking about you know your progression, uh, step back, step forward. You I, I, you know you know this. I don't. We don't need to listen to a, a guy on TV to t talk <laughs> about what you did last season. But kind of take us through and and how you take what you learned at a very early, early and young phase of your career mm -hmm. to, to try to lead this team this year? Yeah, I mean, last year, I think when, you know, you start off the, start off the season with a, with a big win in NC State um, and then kind of getting the, the win knocked out of you with the whole Kentucky game, um, it kind of took a lot from us. But I think we re rebounded well from that. Um, but I think it's a deal where you take experience from last year, you know, whether it be trying to force too much, you know, offensively and, and just uh, not, not trusting everything that we were doing. But I think this year is going to be so much better with Coach McClendon now being more aggressive. I and mean, that's his mindset. He wants to attack the defense. That's what I love. And the up tempo is going to help me a lot. I'm not trying to overthink everything and just uh, really going out there and just playing ball. You've had these issues in the past where you, you get to camp and everybody's pulling and pulling, uh, pulling and t tugging and pulling about a quarterback. You don't have to worry about that this mm -hmm. year. But, but when you look around this league, uh, Coach Buschamp, and, and you too, at Jake, I mean, there, there, there are some historic quarterback battles uh, I, I know you're not concerned about them no. but uh, you know all these guys uh, yeah. did you kind of peek over to see what's happening at this school or that school because you've been at camp with with yeah. probably every one of these I mean, for sure I mean I know a lot of the guys are are competing every day and um, you know it's making them better I know that they um, a lot of great guys that just uh, that want to go out there and, and play football I mean, if you look at, I know Jalen last year, we got real close in the Manning camp, and he's just a great guy. And it was awesome to see how encouraging he was in the national championship game with Tua, and, and that just speaks to how uh, good of a kid he is. So I think at the end of the day, no matter if it's a competition or not, that we're a team. And uh, I think a lot of guys feel the same way, that you know they're going to be there for, for their teammate no matter what. You, you want competition, especially someone that comes from your, your background, but is it a little more peaceful going into camp knowing – He's well, I'm guy. glad he's our quarterback. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Um, the most exciting thing is his first year, he was, should have been a high school senior. Uh, he progressed into year two and had an outstanding year last year, completed over 60% of his passes. And going into year three, he's going to have an outstanding year. A lot of quarterbacks are able to sit and watch their first two years, learn from someone else's mistakes, see and evaluate, practice, get their reps, get their mental reps. This guy's been on the field doing it. 
and so people can be critical of whatever they want to say. I'm glad he's a quarterback at South Carolina, uh, and I'm glad he's my quarterback. I'm glad we got through this interview, Jake, without Coach getting mad at me because he, he, we, we have a long history. <laughs> Coach, Coach, thanks. Always great to see yeah, you. Great to see you, Paul. Best wishes Thank this you. year. We'll take a short break. We'll begin the wine media days down when we come back. Let's go, get USC, USC, South Carolina. Osmond, SCE, South Carolina. Don't sleep on us, baby.